Welcome back to Trade Radio, everyone. So tonight I'm doing something different. Tonight is a book review of the Nike book Shoe Dog, the story of Phil Knight and Nike. Um, I like to read a book every week, as some of you know. Um, this week I was able to knock off this great read. Earlier I've been writing blogs on books, but this is a far more efficient way to get the review done. So I'm kicking it off here tonight on the Trade Radio channel. For those of you who are not using it, audible.com run by Amazon is a great tool and what I do is I download the books so I can listen to it when I'm out and about, um, whether you're, you're traveling in your car, on the bus or on the train, MRT here in Singapore, um, you can have the book on hand and you can read it anytime you like. I always include a link to the book in the description below so go ahead and click on that. If you like the review, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Triage channel. So the story of Phil Knight is very inspir inspirational. Um, as a small entrepreneur uh, with a couple of companies here in Singapore, sometimes it can be lonely and tough. And this book connected to me on a very emotional level. Um, there were just many things that came up in the book that I could definitely relate to as a entrepreneur here in Singapore. Um, firstly, Phil had immense trouble um, in expanding his Nike empire. Um, firstly, it can be very hard as far as trying to manage your inventory, your cash flow, and just making the ball roll. Even if you have amazing margins, um, trying to push through and get through to the next level and the next layer can just be exceedingly hard for small entrepreneurs. Also going through his initial drama with Onisuka who was originally making the Nike f shoes that were in production um, that almost bought down Nike before it even took off was something I could relate to. I've been through a couple of companies which have have not gone the way that I thought it might have gone and um, he really dug deep and it's it's great to see that he came out the other side he had um, he didn't really have advisors but he definitely had a strong partnership in place I think his parents were really his advisors and that helped him get to the next phase of his business and really become what Nike is today so having been, been involved in running through the late 80s, I was only burnt, born in the 80s, so I wasn't running in the early 80s, um, my dad was. I really saw a lot of the running scene unfold and specifically the jogging and running market with the Takapuna Harrier Club. So having that New Zealand connection to early middle distance running, both from a um, coaching standpoint, but also the athletes such as Murray Halberg, Peter Snell, John Walker, um, to mention a few. I mean, it, it was just so much depth in New Zealand at that time. Um, I could clearly see how running shoes were impacting the industry and how the guys were using equipment at the time to, to get ahead. Um, not to mention the different running surfaces which were available and progressively got better and better. Um, I can Im Im actually remember going into the shoe, sh shoe shop and meeting a guy called Duncan um, and being given um, or trying on sets of shoes for, for my own running in the early early 90s and man the technology that was available back then to what it is today and the, how the market evolved it, it really went so quick um, just what was being made and what was being developed. So looking in reflection, it was clear to see how Nike was rolling out and why it made so much sense to be the innovator, to be the market leader in that bringing new technology to the game, a very old game of running. But often things that they say hindsight's twenty twenty. Um, at the time, it must have been mind-bendingly difficult um, to go through those transformations. Um, 
So there were several key things that I personally took out of the book, and I'm going to keep this overview really short and sweet. Um, if you want to read the book again, the link is in the description down below, and you can get it on audible.com to listen in your own time, and I highly suggest this book. It was an easy read, lots of fun. Um, firstly, Phil created an amazing team um, in Nike. He mentioned this several times in the book, and one of the things I took out of this was the original Nike team, he kept coming back to them made up of lawyers and accountants, and they weren't really people who you would consider athletes. Um, but what he created and the methodology that they went about hiring talent and creating this team was very sound and I think that's what created the difference in his company that that set him apart from a lot of his competitors who may have just been recruiting runners and there's nothing wrong in recruiting ex-runners or ex-athletes but he really had a process around what he was trying to achieve what he wanted out of his staff and what he wanted to develop as far as the brand goes and one of the interesting outcomes of that was that th those early partners to Phil Knight anyway really became more than co-workers he truly formed a family around the brand and I, I strongly believe having looked at several successful brands and followed big companies successful companies a lot of them do create more than employees and staff they create amazing family units even if it becomes a huge company the top level management are really like family another big takeaway I got out of the book was how Phil was inspired by um, his travels and he used the stories not only in his um, daily habits and routines but also in the travels that he was on and the mythology Greek mythology um, to come up with the names of course the Nike name and also uh, the names for several key products over the years so that was an interesting insight into the inner workings of Nike and what they're doing even till today I'm sure they they use and cultivate this this uh, travel lineage that was passed down by Phil Knight so overall I give this book a high recommendation I think you should go out and get it give it a read like I said it's an easy read a fun read and you'll learn a lot not only in business but about his background as a runner some of the stars of the game like Prefontaine um, Steve Prefontaine who's one of the early sponsored athletes Andre Agassi was mentioned among others um, Tiger Woods and Michael Jordan and some of the some of the guys who LeBron James who have come on as Nike sponsored athletes in the later years so I hope you pick up this book let me know what you think leave some comments below and until next time over and out